Normally, JUCO basketball teams around the Panhandle would be playing games against non-conference foes right now, but due to the pandemic, that's not the case. Instead, they are practicing, practicing, and well, practicing, and patiently waiting for the season to begin. I've been coaching for 30 years, uh, Division One, Division Three, JUCO, and never in my life has it been where we're in the December and I haven't coached a game. The Gulf Coast Commodores are playing the waiting game, counting down the days until January and their season can start. Like the guys have been tired of playing each other, honestly. We've been scrimmaging each other. We've barely been getting out there and playing with other people. Um, that's one thing we're excited about. The Commodores only got in a few scrimmages in the fall and are now ready for the real deal. It's going to be a different kind of season when January does roll around as they have more conference games to play. Instead of playing each of the Panhandle teams three times in a year, they now have to play them all four times. I believe that it'll be a challenge, but I think we'll be up for it because, you know, a lot of times, especially me, I know that once the competition rises, my game just uh, naturally rises, and I believe that we have guys that are competitive and are going to be willing to step up and play against some, some tough players. But the doors are in a good shape. They have six players returning from last year's squad, a team that won a state title, the first for the doors since 1972. Coach Gaffney thinks they are in a pretty good spot heading into this season. So well, that's as many as anybody else has around the country. Uh, if you look, it's all out of the top 20 teams. So I feel really great about this year, uh, having all the experience back and guys that know how to play and having our freshmen get the extra time this year. They don't have to get into game until January instead of November. Uh, I, th I think it's a win-win. I think we're going to be fine. For now, this team will keep on practicing and counting down the days until their very first game on January 20th. That's your morning sports update. I'm Courtney Mims.